coming from the bottom up. And all the weed comes from the top down. There's no reason to be driving up here except if I had a big backpack full of money. This is the most sustainable place in the country. It has all these growers, all these intellectuals, all these people that came up here that didn't leave, have their families up here, that all became back to the landers, and basically they all migrated up here, you know, and they're all sustainable. lost two big industries in a way. Uh, fishing industry and timber industry are not nearly what they used to be. These people that were logging trees are now doing gorilla grows and doing greenhouses and making a living for themselves and putting money back into the economy. You have these young indoor growers who are coming in here where quality is the number one issue. They want to sell their pot for $6,000 a pound and they grow kush and sour diesel. It's probably the only thing that's keeping this economy going. There wasn't a whole lot left in this area that gave people jobs. One of my sons works at a theater for $7.50 an hour, and some of his classmates are working for $25 bucks an hour tax-free, and they're able to buy a new vehicle this year. Why don't we just legalize it, and then we can regulate it, and then we can tax it? I'm not a greedy person, but I do want my family fed. I want to see people not being greedy over it. It's causing a lot of problems for a lot of people. There are a few people that are growing much larger than the neighbors used to do. It's not comfortable, a little worried about it bringing a certain level of violence, and I guess that's where maybe the greed comes in. Is this really what we wanted out of this? Is like a big money economy.